Finally, I have my customized study table done during my home renovation and I have added some DIY of my own into it. So let's check it out. I have this table made with the intention of maximizing my workspace. The idea is to have only the things that are absolutely necessary to be on the tabletop and as much as possible leave everything else well hidden and enclosed. There are two DIY that I've done on top of the customized table design and both of them have something to do with the fact that the CPU and my network attached storage are stored in an enclosed area with minimum to no airflow or ventilation. This will result in the buildup of heat inside the storage. It's very common for a CPU core to be running at above 40 degrees Celsius and your graphic card core running at above 80 degrees Celsius or even 100 degrees Celsius while you're playing resource intensive games. So to prevent permanent hardware damage, I have incorporated a smart cooling system from AC Infinity. It has a smart mode working with a closed loop feedback system to control the fan speed against my threshold temperature settings. And the result is having the air temperature inside the storage almost as cool as the air outside. The next DIY is extending the power and reset button outside of the storage. This will allow me to power up or reset the PC without having to open the door every time. I've also wired to the LED of the buttons so that it reflects the hard disk activity and the on-off status of the computer. The power button is on the left to show the on-off state of the CPU and the reset button on the right also shows the hard disk activity. I'm very grateful for the dedication and the workmanship of the carpenters involved. If you happen to be looking for one, I have left their contact information down in the description below. As usual, if you find this video interesting or informative in any way, please give a like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!